So I'm trying out different things. It's all an experiment. Hi, I'm Konkona and I'm here on Tweak India to discuss parenting today. How do you raise a boy to be a man who is sensitive, compassionate and a feminist? I think it's amazing if we can raise human beings to be like that anyway. One has to be able to articulate easily and simply why some things are okay, what to call out, what to accept as a joke and what not to accept etc. So I'm trying out different things, it's all an experiment. From our balcony we could see kids playing on this uh, road, there were only boys playing. So I asked him, I said, where do you think the girls are? How come there are no girls playing? It hadn't actually occurred to him because we accept so many things as normal. I generally think that if you have this awareness at the back of your mind, then it spills over. I try to do things like make him involved with household chores, like it's his job to lay the table. He doesn't believe in anything matching. So everything is like different, the napkins are all different and I'm really into like, you know, things matching and all symmetrical and in order and I'm trying to be very like zen about it. Your son has grown up around very strong women. How do you think that has shaped him? Haroon is only eight. It remains to be seen how he will turn out. I largely, I would say, grew up with my mum. She had a lot of strong female friends. When you see women working and you see women directing and writing, it's registering subliminally from a young age that there are women writers, there are women directors, there are women leaders. This is normal and this is a possibility. So one thing that uh, happened with Haroon is that, you know, he saw me and he saw my younger sister wearing nail paint. I think he must have been four or five at that time when he said that I also want to wear nail paint. I remember saying that, uh, of course you can, but you can only do that once you're grown up because nail paint and makeup is not meant for children. It's meant for adults. How do you ensure that your child is comfortable to come and talk to you about anything and everything? The other day I very casually said, you know, if there's anything you want to talk about, I mean, you know, even if it's about girls or bullies or sex, we can always talk about it. I said these words. I just said these words because I felt I don't know what he'll need to talk about when. Also, they often don't have the vocabulary. I just bring up some things from time to time so that if he wants to, he can come back to it at some point. Sex talk we've not had yet, you know. And I've been looking up a little bit here and there researching, but it happened in the most uh, <laughs> incongruous manner because I think my mum was actually reading out some stories from the Mahabharata. I got a call from my mum saying, uh, listen, I'm going to have to give a very quick crash course on reproduction. I think I was in the middle of something else and I was like, okay. So my favorite thing about parenting has been discovering who my child is becoming. We'd love to know your thoughts. Do let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Tweak India.